hello students in this video i am going to tell you about the osmosis as i told uh, the function of plasma membrane here two function like diffusion and osmosis so diffusion i explained earlier and this is all about the osmosis so what is osmosis first thing so it is also a type of diffusion which occurs through semi permeable membrane and point to be noted that here presence of semi permeable membrane is required so you can say that the osmosis is the passage of water from a region of high water concentration high higher water concentration to lower water concentration to lower water concentration through a higher water concentration to lower water concentration through semi permeable membrane through semi permeable membrane student do you know what is the meaning of higher water concentration higher water concentration means water should be pure there is no any adulteration or there is no mixing of any solute in them that type of water is known as highly concent high uh, concentration of water so uh, you can see here this is the sugar solution this is this is an experiment to explain the process of osmosis sugar solution and this is the water you can see see here this is semi permeable membrane and water molecules at higher concentration c and sugar solution water molecule at low concentration see here from higher water concentration to lower water concentration so sugar solution are protected here so you can see this is the water molecule at higher concentration and this is at lower concentration there are so many examples i can uh, give you to show what does it mean that the diffusion occurred through semi permeable membrane so for first thing you should know what is the meaning of uh, solute solvent and solution so if we want to make a sharbat simply sharbat what should we add in this like sugar this is the sugar in which we add in water obviously and what we will make that is sharbat so this sugar or salt or whatever we add in this water it makes a solution that is sharbat so the thing which we add in solvent or water it is called solute and the sol uh, the solute uh, which is going to be dissolved in anything that is water it is called solvent and the final it form a solution that is in this case it is a sharbat so i think uh, now it is clear what is solute solvent and solution so um, let us take one example first there are two cases let us see what will happen if you put an animal cell what cell an animal cell like rbc 
और प्लांट सेल एनी लीव्स यू कैन टेक एग्जांपल इन टू अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ शुगर और सॉल्ट prepared in water prepared in water so there are three situation what i told let's see what will happen if you put an animal cell or rbcs or plant cells or uh, any leaves into solution of sugar or salt prepared in water so three situation may occur first if the medium surrounding the cell has higher water concentration let's say that this is a cell so if the medium surrounding the cell has higher water concentration there are uh, so much water concentration than the cell than the cell that is if solution is very dilute solution the cell will gain water by osmosis and such a situation is called as or such a solution is known as hypotonic solution so you can see this is the very diluted condition there are so much water present and here the cell sap is so concentrated so water will move inside here water will move inside you can take another example just take some raisins and put it in water these are the raisins after some time what will occur the raisin will swell up what happened here says uh, concentration of raisin cell sap is more concentrated than the outer solution this is very dilute solution you can say dilute solution so water will move inside and this is called hypotonic this is a kind of hypotonic solution and the process what occur it causes end osmosis means the cell swells up cell swells up so while water molecules are free to pass across the plasma membrane in both direction more water will enter the cell than leave you can see here that more water will enter the cell than leave the net result is that water enters the cell in such situation cell is likely to swell up see here that is it become inflated or turgid there is one condition that is known as turgid if we water the plant uh, the all the cells of the plant become turgid uh, full of water and what about the rbcs such swollen rbcs may be ultimately burst obviously rbc will also uh, swelled up and it may burst or there is another term known as hemolysed or hemolysis it means the rbcs will burst in second situation what should be the second situation in second situation if the medium of the surrounding this is the medium this is the plant cell 